So the other day I kind of complained to the builder. I was a little upset because I saw some other houses that were permitted the exact same day as our house. And those houses, would you say they were done? Like 95%. They were done. They were done. Like they had like maybe carpet to lay down. That was it. But everything was done. The concrete was laid for the driveways. They were so far along. And then meanwhile, got our house just sitting. Well, ever since I kind of complained to the builder, there have been workers here like every day working. Fingers crossed. Hopefully they can finish our house a little sooner than six months because it's been two years already. Terrible. Great builder. They're building my house nice, but it's sad because you don't really see workers there very much. When they're here though, they're working fast. So we got the ducks inside of this area here and they are loving it so far. If this looks familiar to you, this is where I had the chickens before. Chickens are outside. They've been out there for a few days now and they're doing great. I have Dak. Dak is my chicken man right now. He's protecting the chicken flock and he loves the chickens. You know who else is gonna love the chickens? These guys right here, they're gonna love the chickens. Hey, watch it, watch it. Dude, the geese are getting big. So a few days ago, we rescued this little budgie that happened to just fall on our lap. I mean, literally, he was flying around outside. We thought we lost him and then we came out and we had V outside and he was hanging out with V. And he ended up being very friendly, he or she. We didn't have a cage for him, so we put him in here. And he kind of goes in and out freely. He sometimes will go at the bottom of the cage. He loves the chicken food. Look at where he's at right now. Eating V's leftovers. He got himself in here. Hey, mister. Or missus. Whatever you are. I just didn't want her to get hurt, him or her, because... We do have a lot of hawks outside, and if she's flying around outside, like even my neighbor said, be careful, she will get hawked up. Who likes wormies? They like wormies. Dude, the little ones I got are already getting big. Mm -hmm. Look how big they've gotten. Ducks grow so fast. Maybe it's because, you know, like some birds, they have really long lifespans and some don't. Like, I think ducks only live like eight to 10 years. Whereas my little V will live up to close to 50 years. And that's why it takes a little bit longer for like, V was a baby for like three months. He didn't get his feathers until fully, maybe until three months. Whereas these guys will have their feathers within a few weeks. I gotta show you this huge hole that my boy Dak dug. We haven't had any recent escapes from the dogs. Thank God. Fingers crossed. So I kind of did something yesterday. It's not something that I do often, but hi guys, you're so cute. So I did put them on like a 40 foot leash just for the day because they escaped yesterday. Yesterday I was woken up because I stayed at the clown cottage. It was just way too far. I was working really late. My neighbor calls me and our dogs are out roaming the streets. I mean, not that almost 10 acres of land is not enough for these guys. They're like, no, we want more. We want, we want to explore more. When I got them back, I was like, look guys, you need to learn that this is your space right here. This is your space. You can see here, uh, this did not work out well. However, it seems to be keeping them here now. They haven't escaped anymore. And I'm sure there's gonna be somebody that has a different way. I mean, I'm still learning and I'm still doing research on what works. These guys could climb right over these four foot fences. I've even heard of somebody having their great Pyrenees climb over an eight foot fence. Did you hear Rena's moo? Yeah, it's like a very light moo. Mm. <laughs> That's, Lily. That's Lily. Yeah, Rena's moo is like, oh, hopefully she does it. That's it. That was Rena. Yeah, that's Rena. Hi. This is my llama. She's getting a haircut in a couple days. I'm excited about that. Hi, this is my Dacky boy. Hey, Dak, let's show them what you did here. Look at, look at this. He put in work. Yeah, he put in a lot of work for that one. Hi, guys. What are y'all doing today? I think these guys are gonna love growing up here. I'm not gonna always keep them in here. This is just to keep them safe. How you doing this morning? Okay, got some food for you. Here you go. Yummy, yummy. Now I can see all of y'all. <laughs> Guess you guys are pretty hungry, huh? No going poopy in the food. These guys are always going to be a little friendlier than ducks. Like, they'll come and sit on your lap. I mean, ducks are friendly, too. But chickens, they're my favorite. I haven't decided which one's April, May, or June. I guess we'll figure it out when they get a little older and they have some different changes in their 
plumage. Yeah, there's my yeah, barred rock. You guys having a party over there without me? Hi. Oh, is that what it is? You're being followed. There I got Miss Piggy, Tommy, and Lamar just separated because they're my two studs that I do not want mating with my females right now. But they chill, they be chilling. Uh, Miss Piggy, where's she at? Yeah, Miss Piggy be chilling with them too. She likes it. <laughs> uh oh, oh, she wants some food. Look at Miss Piggy, Miss Piggy going crazy over there. She trying to break down the door. Uh oh, they know what you got, they can smell it. <laughs> this is so funny, you're being ambushed. That happens to me, it's scarier at night though. Yo, this is like record breaking. I have three people, different contractors working on my house right now. This is golden. I haven't seen this much work done in, in ever. Hey there, pretty lady. How you doing? Is that yummy? Is that some yummy food? You liking the food, huh? Only time I could get close to you when you're eating, big girl. Always so hungry. You let them know how big of a poopy you take every day? Yeah, she left me a nice patty cake over there behind her. Poor Lamar. He's just like looking at them. He's like, I want some food. Huh? He's eating. Oh, he's eating? Okay, I thought he was being jealous. Oh, you're such a good zoo mama. I like my jugs. Yeah, I like your jugs. <laughs> I feel sad. She's like, mom and dad, don't leave me. Telling them I love them in language. Oh my gosh. I'm getting like Dory from Finding Nemo whale vibes. You don't speak whale. Yes, I do. <laughs> so, we are getting ready to open up our storage unit. We're uh, excited and scared at the same time. I just got a phone call. Actually, it wasn't a phone call, it was an email from the manager that like runs the storage unit place that we're at. Supposedly, there was a break in and Whoever came in here didn't steal anything based off of the other owners that checked their respected garages. We have not checked, so we have no idea. I don't know, it sounded like your foot, a foot shuffling, didn't it? Like, You know what's crazy? You know what's in there, right? What? I have a couple ha really haunted dolls, I swear, that I refuse to even take to the clown cottage, and they're in there, including my original the, bad luck. The doll in the glass is in there. Yeah, the one that's, yeah. It. One that's in the glass. Here, I'm gonna give you a look. But yeah, we don't know if somebody could have, I mean, there's no way they could break in. Nah, unless they cut this, which I don't, that's Yeah, because it's still locked. Yeah. So I think we're all right. I, I don't know why somebody would break in here. Maybe somebody was trying to break in here and then. They couldn't. When they got in here and they seen that everything was locked. What if they were just trying to break in to go to sleep? Hmm. I'm excited to see our dolls. So we had to move in a hurry. We sold our house in eight hours and the new owners wanted us out in a, seven, was, days. seven days. Yeah. So, and it was just me and Tiffany, me and Tiffany. We did have a couple friends, just two friends Here's help us. Love Huge them. shout out to them. Thank you so much if you're watching this video. But yeah, they helped us a ton with moving some stuff here into the storage unit. Oh, okay, I see, I see the doll. There's a doll in the case over there. Yeah, supposedly she was so haunted they put her in that case right there. It's nailed shut too, isn't Oh, it? look, I oh. forgot about that doll. So that doll, I don't know if you remember watching on my other channel, there was this video, it was a really cool video where we go up into this attic. Supposedly this house became haunted because this woman started dabbling in some witchcraft to get back at her cheating husband and it didn't work out so well for her and everybody was haunted, it was it was bad. So they left this house and it, it was destroyed, it, it looked abandoned for years. We found that doll and it looks creepy AF, hold on, I gotta show you. I don't know if the doll is haunted, but she came from a haunted house. Look at her. Remember this one? She's lovely. We'll put it under your pillow. I'm a good. I'm okay. You're you're a, you're a good. Dang. Uh. Oh. This isn't two floors. Sounds like there's somebody walking up there. Huh. What is that? I don't know. What the heck is going on? There's nobody in here, is there? No, it's just, look, it's literally just us. <laughs> and then there's an exit right there. All right, somebody sent us this haunted doll in the mail. Remember it belonged to a murderer? Oh, there's a whole story, I think. Yeah. It's still in there. Right? Widow, Widow Doc. See, the little girl sent it. Still have it. 
Yeah, Widow Dock or something, or Dock, yeah. We had this in our previous home in the garage and a bird flew in this box and made a nest. Next and to the doll. There's the nest right there. Hey, there's no eggs. I guess the birds hatched and, but that, isn't that cool? Oh, here's my Robert the doll. Wait, how did he get out? I didn't have him out like this. I had him in a box. I you thought know? he was in a plastic bag thingy. No, not, not this Robert the doll. I had this, maybe he was in a plastic bag. A Bro, as soon as I picked him up, all these orbs started coming out of nowhere. Bro. Okay, funny story about this guy. If you know anything about Robert the doll, happens to be probably the world's most haunted doll ever. Tiffany and I did a whole story about Robert the doll and we went to the artist's house where Robert the doll was found some years later. Really awesome video, if you haven't watched it, I've done a couple videos on Robert the doll, but this is the most recent video that I'm talking about. Now, let's rewind a couple years ago, how I came in contact with this Robert the doll. We go, it was, I believe it was me and Mo, and we made a visit to the Robert the doll museum and they have these dolls available at the East Martello Museum in their gift shop where you can buy little mini Robert the dolls. The real Robert the doll is like, I mean, he's big. He's like a, a three-year-old child. That's how big he is. So they have these little mini ones and they're kind of expensive. They're like 50 bucks or something to buy them. So I bought this. I put it right next to the enclosed Robert the doll in a glass case doll. And I asked for his spirit to come into this doll. Big mistake. It was like bad luck followed us all over. I mean, we were on the road. We we not only got a flat tire, but we got a flat tire on every single tire later on down the road. Like one would go flat, we would we would get it replaced, whatever. And and sometimes this was in a small, crappy little town where we couldn't find any tires, okay? Fine, we move on. A couple hours later, bam, another tire blows. I mean, it was just like bad luck after bad luck. I made a promise to myself. This guy would always stay inside the SS Raven, which was my RV at the time. It's like a little mini, tiny, tiny RV. I mean, I don't even, it was more like a conversion van more than anything with a bathroom. Cool, really cool. Like I, I missed the SS Raven. I would have never got rid of that van if it wasn't because I lived in an HOA at the time. And they were like, you can't have RVs, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I mean, it doesn't look like an RV, whatever. But that's why I had to find a new home for the SS Raven, kind of miss it. but. That was his home. This is his home now. I think it's kind of weird that I just saw him just ran. I, I, I'm telling you, he was not on that chair. Like, I'm being real with you. I think he was in a box somewhere in like a plastic baggie. But anyways, that's the story about Robert the doll. I'm gonna put him there. We're gonna come back later and let's see if he moves. Hey, Robert, little mini Robert, if you are truly haunted. No. Do not even do that. What? Don't even ask it, to, no. I want you to move somewhere else when we come back because we got to make a few trips. So we have our garage at the Safe Haven Ranch that we waited six months for. Uh, it's kind of like a little metal utility building, pretty awesome, and to put our farm equipment away. And we have a little space in there to have some of our gym equipment. We like to work out when we have some free time, which is never, but we do like to try to make some time to work out. So we're going to bring, try to bring the dumbbell set. I do have this really cool Bowflex. Bro, did you hear that? Yeah, it sounded like a whole bunch of banging. As soon as I turned off the freaking camera. Hey, Robert the doll. Stop. If that was you, do it again. No. Do it again. Shake the wall again. <gasps> oh. <laughs> did the light just turn off? <laughs> Get out of here. Are there cameras in here? Are people like messing around with us? Look, and all I did was go like this, like hit the wall like this and it just went off. Are they motion? No, not motion. Maybe the lights are on a timer or I'm gonna something. I'm going to do stop talking that little homie. Let's get stuff out of here. Come on. <laughs> Dude, it was crazy. It was like, it was almost like. <laughs> like that's what happened when I turned the camera off. Hey, Robert, do it again. Stop it. Do it again. Babe. Come on, buddy. I believe in you. Please, no more flat tires. That would not be good. All right. Moment of truth. We are back. Let's see if Mr. Robert had a party with his ladies. Ew. Not that kind of party. Oh. Perf. Uh, he fell. Where is he? 
Oh, well. He fell. Pretty, yeah. It's fine. There's a lot moving around in here, too, though. I think maybe we knocked him down on accident. Possibly, yeah. All right. I see the other Robert. See, I have another one over there. That's not the actual Robert, though, the haunted Robert. The haunted Robert is that one. You put that box on her head. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not I have never seen this before. We are legit trapped. Are we trapped? I guess there's like a turbine, turbulent. A hey, big shout out to the Naughty Girl crew. Naughty Girl gang, that's like a thousand of them, man. <laughs> and I think I just joined the Naughty naughty Guy. Okay, so my friend Renee said that this was like all abandoned here and you can only get here by boat or jet ski. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go scope it out. This looks pretty interesting. I'm scared. <laughs> This is pretty crafty though. She's got these little rubber thingies on her ski. Bumpers. Bumpers. So try not to scratch it up even though I ride. I got 300, oh. 350 oh, no. hours on this ski. You got 350 hours? Yeah. Wait, did you put all those miles on it yourself? Yeah, no, I bought it with <laughs> This is why Yamaha is the best. It is. This yes. is not a paid advertisement, by the way. Okay. I work on mine myself. Like I do the oil changes and it's just so easy to work on. All right, so can't be afraid of spider webs. A spider? I would rather deal with a spider than a wasp. Oh, God. But they're not moving. <laughs> okay. <sighs> this is awesome. Hey, little guys. Hope you're having an awesome day today. I brought you some honey. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this right. is abandoned? So they never used it. They built it. And uh, they had this grand plan of taking these big ships through here, like the big freight liners. Their original plan was oh, yeah, to connect the Gulf to the Atlantic Ocean. And so they were gonna cut right through here with a big lock system. And when they got to this point, they were like, oh, well, we're bringing salt water into all the fresh water. And that's a dumb idea because you're gonna ruin the ecosystem. Ah. So they ixnate it and there's an office they've never opened up. We'll go peek inside. They've left it the way it was when they built it. No kidding. And then, so gators can get in this, but they can't get out. So let's see if we can find some. Gators? Yeah. So on our way up, Renee hit something and she thinks it was a gator. No. <laughs> no it was definitely a stump. Okay, so yeah. we just went on the whistle. I heard stump. gator. No. no All right. No, no. Nope, nope. Maybe I was hearing things. That was a stump. I'd much rather hit a gator than a stump because a stump's going to take you down. Water levels are low right now. Do not ride the Witha Lakuchi without a guide. I have nicknamed the Witha Lakuchi the Widowmaker. Every ski I've seen with a hole, every ski I've seen go down is on this river. What? Yeah. yeah. Oh, thanks for telling me now. Yeah, yeah, you're stuck now. Oh, God. We were going about 50 miles an hour for miles. Oh, you see a gator? Oh, it went down. So, wait, do they get in here and they just stay in here? In the big one. Oh, poor little guy. Like, they have nowhere to bask. I mean, other than on top of the water. Oh, my God. Oh, wow, this is so cool. Look at them. Okay, there's their little basking area. No way. Dude, there's one down there. Oh, there's one over there. That's a big boy. Oh, Tiffany would be geeking out. She loves seeing alligators in the wild. They swim in when they're little through the pipe. Mm -hmm. But when they grow as they're living in here, they can't get back out. Aww. So they live off of the fish and the stuff that comes in through the pipe. And they're kind of is their permanent home. Oh, hey, Mr. Tweedle. All right, Savannah. I have a really good friend named Savannah. Works at Gatorland. One of my best friends. Let's rescue these guys. How cool would that be? Like, these guys are in prison. They're literally trapped in this dam area. I mean, it's not such a bad thing. They have fish down there. They got, I mean, do they have plenty of food? They're yeah, growing. They but I mean, it's sad. Like, there's such a huge paradise of a river back there. And like, these poor guys are just trapped in here. Here, lower me down, Renee. Take them home? Yeah. Could use you Gia's bait. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> when this office shut down, what do you think? In the 60s? I don't know. 70s? I don't know. Could be, it looks like it could be 70s. 70s. chair. They didn't, they haven't opened it since. It's just like sitting here with everything. The con This is the control room. I don't even know what that machine is right there. Mm, looks like a keyboard. Really sure it plays music. And then it continues over here. Newspapers, an old lamp. Wow. I wonder what they're gonna do with this one, dude. I mean, they're just using it as like storage. Yeah, it's just yeah. storage. Nothing else. 
Have you been down over there? No, uh-uh. I bet you there's more gators over there. Oh, let's check it out. There's like another ledge. Wanna look down? Oh my gosh. <laughs> no freaking way. Yeah, that's pretty scary. It's like a lever or something. All right, little guys. All right, so we walked from the other side. That's where we saw the gators. Because we wanted to see if there was any more on this side. But there's not. Smoking or refueling in lock chamber prohibited. So I wonder if this water ever rises with the tide. It does come up higher? Okay, you can see the rust. That's kind of sad because then where do the gators bask from there? I think right now when the water is lower, it allows them to go on that ledge and get some sun, which I feel like the sun's kind of hidden from them because it's so low. Oh my, oh my. That's a pretty steep drop. Oh, that looks kind of dangerous. So that is where the Gulf of Mexico is, straight out there. And according to Renee, what she was saying is they started building this and then they stopped halfway through. See, they were adding on to it because maybe somebody stepped in and was like, hey, wait a minute, mixing the salt with the fresh water could mess up some of the ecosystem here. I mean, I've seen plenty of brackish water before, but I have to say this river behind me is beautiful. It's very eco-friendly, if you know what I mean. Not eco-friendly, but it's very, um, it's very natural. You can tell that it's been protected over the years and there's houses on it like there's ba barely any lit there's no litter at all actually so it's it's untouched it's the word i'm trying to say is kind of rural area up here so i wonder if this followed through with their plans what it would have done and i'm going to take you up the river in a little bit to show you how beautiful it is so how do i join the the naughty gang do i, do I have to get like a beat down or something yes i do thanks for bringing us here this is cool i wonder if people come over here and go fishing yeah heck of a pier that's what they should turn it into oh look at this switchboard oil pump motor i wonder if some of this was used for electricity like they were trying to do like maybe a, a plant electricity plant using the water no this is all just to operate the lock as the boats come in to like open the gates and shut right, the right. gates and fill the water look at this nice green phone oh yeah it's 1980s all the way right there i think that green was in the 70s uh -huh. That was like the in color. I just want to go in there and push all the buttons. <laughs> be free, Gators! Be free! <laughs> Why won't they let them me. out? I wonder if they could just push a button and let them out. I wonder if it did open, what, like how much water would end up in the Gulf. Oh, there's a truck. Is that like somebody that works here? Yeah. Then they're going to yell at us? I think they keep all the uh, lawn cutting equipment for the county. Oh, okay. So this railroad tie came off and it just floats in the water. Okay, so yeah, it came off of one of those. See that? See, when the water rises, I wonder if they just bask on those little ledges there. Now, anytime you've come here, like you always see this ledge. Yes. Like, okay, so it's always Look like that. Look at the turtle. It has so much moss on top. It's like algae. My turtle at home, like we have to brush him because he gets all that yeah, algae. But he doesn't have nobody to brush him. He doesn't have anybody to brush him, no. <laughs> so cool. Those are the little ones. Those little ones are the ones you gotta be careful with. They're fast, very agile. The big ones are good. Like they won't chase, I mean, they'll chase you a little. Like that guy right there, he's trouble. Okay, so we just noticed that another little gator made an appearance and he came from underneath that ledge right there. I'm thinking there's probably about 150 gators underneath there just chilling. All right there, little one. And off we go. You can see how much higher the water is here. And then back where the gators were, it was like a, I don't know, 30 foot drop. It's crazy. Naughty girl gang. Wait, it's naughty girl gang, naughty girl crew. Naughty girl crew. Crew, my bad. Naughty girl crew. But yeah, see how beautiful like it is here? It's just very natural, very green, awesome. You ready? Yep. Yo, so as many times as Renee's been here, she's never seen this. And it's cool because the water's low. There's like a huge ship. Look at this. Whoa. But you can see part of it right there. Wow. Dude, it looks like an old pirate ship down there. This is cool. Like I'm still on top of this ship. This thing is massive. All right, let me see if I can get a better look. It's so big. 
see that. We're still over the that's a ship. Whoa! Look right there. Oh you can really see it right here. Check it out. So I guess that's a railboat track. We're in a zone where people haul butt. Well actually no, this is a no weight zone. Okay, no, up ahead. Okay, we're thinking it may be an old bridge too. That connected. I don't know. You can see it right there. I want to go underwater so bad, but I might ruin my camera. I guess if it was a bridge, you would see it over here too, and I don't see it unless it's a lot deeper in this area. I like the idea of a pirate ship. That's an old sunken pirate ship. We just need to go find some booty now. I mean, you know, the booty in the pirate ship, like the, the gold. There was something really big in the water right now that just splashed. What was it? Oh, it was an alligator? Oh wow, he's chilling on that island. All right, we're gonna go through this magical tunnel. Go really slow. Wait, are those manatees? Okay, no. But that's what they look like in the water. Hey, there's something else sunk right here. Oh wait, no, it's just dirt. It's sunken dirt. So the name of this river is called the Withalacuchi. I never been here before, my first time. Oh, this is kind of cool. I usually never get to ride with other folks like on, on the skis. I'm usually by myself or with Tiffany. So this is fun. Tiffany didn't want to come. She knew we were going to be going fast. She was invited and she doesn't like going fast. So like, you know, I think she might like this though, if I bring her back, because it was, wasn't very choppy at all. It was very, very smooth sailing. Okay, so this goes into Rainbow River. According to Renee, the water goes from like this murky brown water to like blue. Ooh, look, you can see it right there, look. What? Look at that. Oh, is that where it goes from brown to, wow. That's crazy. It's like night and day. This is amazing. This is the Rainbow River, very similar to the Wikiwachi River that I brought you to before. It's a spring-fed river. Wow, this is gorgeous. Good morning from the Safe Haven Ranch. Hey, Mona, how you doing? So today's the day. My llamas are getting haircuts, and I'm a little worried because they asked me, are the llamas trained? <laughs> Have they ever had haircuts before? I'm sure they had haircuts before my adults of course our baby macy she's really friendly so that that'd be fine but i'm really worried about lamar and i'm worried about dixie because they let us pet them of course when they're being fed that's about it but they usually don't want anything to do with you if you don't have food so i'm gonna try to make this a little easier get them some food but i'm still really concerned because these guys are used to llamas that are trained like macy so uh I'm gonna try to make it as painless as possible, but we're gonna have some screaming llamas on our hands. Facts. Uh, and hopefully, they're still friendly with us after. They're gonna love it after. They're gonna feel so much better. Think so? Supposedly, they do these haircuts in like a few minutes. Miss Piggy, what are you doing? Here, Miss Piggy. Let's give Miss Piggy some food. Hey, buddy. You're getting a haircut today. All right. Oh, oh, oh. All right, we got a lot of poopy to clean out here too. Mm -hmm. But by the way, it's like super early in the morning, 7.30. That's why it looks a little dark out, sun hasn't come out yet. I mean, sun hasn't come out. It's a little overcast too. Come on, Pig, get back. Get back, baby. We're gonna get you some food, I promise. You want everything off or, or you wanna leave some or what is? Let's make her look pretty. It's okay. It's okay. Here, hold Dixie. this halter. Hold it. Dixie, it's okay. It's okay. Wow. That's a lot that she had on. She's going to feel so much better after that. Oh! It's okay, baby girl. It's okay, Dixie. Okay, Dixie. Look at Dixie. She looks like a giant poodle. This is like a design that they do, um, which is really cute. I think she'll be a little cooler if we take more head yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah, let's take the neck the neck off. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my crazy. goodness. I thought there was a dead llama over there. <laughs> Dude, she's scared of her hair. She's a long neck. Look, she looked at her hair and she got really scared. Dude, he's like, I want a haircut. All right, mister, it's your turn. I'm gonna get him in here. Come on. Come on, Lamar. Come on. Lamar, come on. Come on. Come on. All right, he's coming. Come on. Here. Lamar. Oh. Oh, Lamar. Come here. Let me see. He wants her food. 
I think he's checking out the other llama. Oh, 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 hey, hey, oh. ew. <laughs> Did he just spit in her junk? I think so. <laughs> Is that Hello. a thing? Come here, Lamar. Come on. Okay, we got him. Come on, don't you want to look hot for your next? <laughs> oh, 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 you got him. Come on, buddy. Come on, you're gonna get a nice haircut. Dude, Macy's gonna look so cute. <laughs> You're gonna look so cute. All right, Lamar is doing great. I'm loving his little spots that he has. I never knew he was so pretty. So I guess alpacas are harder. So alpacas are like cats. Llamas are like dogs. Oh, Lamar's looking so nice. Look at Macy. She's gonna love, like not, I mean, I'm gonna love it for sure. Look how dirty she is. All right, Lamar is all done. Who's next? She's next. next. She's probably gonna be the next. easiest one. <laughs> Look at you, Lamar. <laughs> oh, now she like wants him. Oh. Oh my gosh, what do we do? It is springtime. <laughs> we just made some new llamas. Oh, Dude, look, she's Lamar's like, trying. oh, he looking handsome. He's like, yeah, check it out, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, the dog's barking at him. He's like, what the oh. hell is that? Okay, Macy. We don't need to tie her up, do you think, right? Yeah, think so. yeah, because she's wild. She's showing her inner wildness. It's okay, Macy. Oh, I'm so sad. Let, let's put the halter on her. I think Macy could be the hardest one. <laughs> Okay, hey, baby. Oh, she's scared. Hey, baby girl. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna look beautiful. Really curious over here. Like, what's going on? Mar <laughs> looks so different. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> oh, they're touching noses. Uh oh. Mar's like, oh my God, she's so smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Lavar. Oh He's like, oh, uh, uh, don't you do no. that? That's a file. Yeah. She looks so different. Hi, baby. You got an itch. You got an itch. My dogs are already working. But they're like watching over the chickens. Chickens are doing good, by the way. They're loving their enclosure. It goes Dak over there. I had to separate them and put them in the enclosure just for a little bit because they were wanting to eat the llama here. Lamar. You better stay away from my girl. He could be around Dixie though. Yeah, but not Macy. All right, we are in the birdhouse. There's the little one. That's what I've been calling him or her. These guys are messy, but they're so stinking cute. Look at my goslings, they're already getting so big. I just put water in there. You literally have to put water in there like two or three times a day because they just love playing in the water. I got to change all these pine shavings. It's so cute. See, they're not as, uh, they're a little more skittish. Oh, there, okay, there you go. <laughs> I've been teaching V how to fly a little bit. He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. Why oh, are you mad at me because I made you fly? Come here, little one. <laughs> Eating all the seeds on the ground. It's so dirty in here, I gotta clean up. Gonna see if these guys finally come to me while holding some worms. Okay, here we go, little guys. Here we go. You guys want it. Oh, there you go. See, I'm friendly. Is it quiet? <laughs> oh, this is the first time they eat from my hand. This is so cool. That is so awesome. See, I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you doing? What are you doing? I want you to fly over there. Go. No, you don't wanna fly. What up, Luna? You having a great day at the safe haven? <laughs> We're doing a little poopy run. I have this huge rake goes behind my side by side it separates all the manure so it doesn't build up parasites great time to do it is when it's getting hot outside and it's doing just that see where I've done it already this breaks everything up I want to give you a quick update on little one little one is doing really good here at the safe haven ranch I still have not been able to find his or her owner we put a couple ads online but 
Yeah, no one's claimed him. So, I don't know. I think we may keep little one here at the Safe Haven Ranch. Why not? I mean, he found us, she found us, and he seems to be pretty happy. We do let little one out, but I have another enclosure. I have V out all day inside here. Uh, it was fairly cold here in Florida today. Him and little one were just kind of chilling. Look at this little fluff ball right here. Well, fluff ball head. So we got Miss Piggy a pool. And this is what happened to her pool. The dogs ruined it, literally in like a day. You feeling good with your haircut? Yeah, pretty sure you are. I gotta get these guys fed. Got a long day today, a lot of video editing. A lot of good stuff, a lot of fun. The dogs are still in training. Got some static collars on them. They've been escaping a lot. My biggest issue here at the Safe Haven Ranch hasn't been my llamas, hasn't been my cows, hasn't been my goats, my pig, my chickens, my ducks. It's been the dogs. And it's like every other day. What are you doing? Chickens are getting big, by the way. Like really big. Hi. <laughs> Look at these guys bonding from one side of the fence to the other. Is y'all's boyfriend over there? And then we have Lamar. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Llamas have this like really cute way to eat. It's almost like they have two fingers. See the two little fingers on the front of their mouth? I'm just waiting for the cows to move. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dixie, I already put food over there for you. There's food over there. Why are you gonna take the other animal's food? Go, over there. I put food over there. Just wanna follow me around. Okay, okay. All right, guys, you're next, I promise. Right, come on, don't be a hog. Stop being a hog. I need to share. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I do have another bin for them, but they knocked it down. All right, I should give them some more food. That's right. You just got spit on by Lamar, didn't you? Because you're a hog. Look at these little monsters. Oh my goodness. You guys are getting so big. All right, daddy's coming. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's enough for everybody. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. I'm gonna get another bowl started. There's, there's, there's a lot of them. There's more. Look, guys. Oh, she found a bug. She found a bug. She's excited. Ooh. Take it, you guys are pretty hungry, huh? Wait for my hand? Yeah. Oh, yeah. These for my hand. You guys don't even look like little babies anymore. They're like full grown hens. Pew, 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 pew. Here's the thing. They'll always be our babies, no matter how grown they are. If you got baby chickens or thinking about getting baby chickens, invest in one of these, because you won't have to come out here and change your water all the time. Let me just show you. I think it's like three gallons of water. They come up down here and they get water when they want. And they don't waste it. Birds are pretty wasteful, especially chickens and ducks when it comes to water. They get all in it, get get it all messy. I mean, because I'm their daddy and I spoil them, I do have a little water feeder there too. If maybe some of them can't reach it, which I'm pretty sure they all can now. You guys poop too much. Ah. Ah. All right, I'm getting out of here. Are you guys guarding the chickens? Guarding the chickens? You guys are so cute. Oh, They're like inseparable. They just love being together. They get into trouble together. They love on you together. I mean, just everything together. I cannot separate these guys. They're like twins, except they did not come from the same mama. Came from the same breed, but not same mama. One thing that's kind of cool about Great Pyrenees, if you want to tell like if they're purebred or not, they have this like extra toe. Like they have these extra like toenails. See that? See, Dak has it too, back there. Lily is my favorite cow. She's just so cuddly. She's so cuddly, I love you. Dakie, Gracie. Babies, they're being little guard dogs. Watching over there, I think they really like the chickens. Does not mean that I'm gonna let the chickens loose and let the dogs around them right this second. This is, this is nice. They have a little layer of protection. They get to kind of smell them, investigate the chickens. And then eventually I'll let them out and see how they do. Heavily monitored situation, by the way. Lamar just got close to the chicken coop and Dak almost bit his leg. <laughs> They about to bite me. They about to bite me. I love you guys. Oh, yummy, yummy. Oh, what's going on? What'd you do? 
this is not yummy yummy for you. All right, sometimes the dogs be setting off this automatic vacuum. It's pretty good for like when you're sweeping. We get a lot of sand from the dogs in and out of here. Well, dirt, sand, grass, all kinds of stuff. But I don't really get to show my camper a whole lot because it's a, it's quite tight. It's a small area. It's like, I don't know, maybe 400 square feet, maybe even smaller. It's really dirty. In fact, Tiffany would be very upset if I if I showed you what's going on. I mean, it's, it's dirty, okay? Like, uh, it isn't, I mean, it's very easy to clean. It's just, this is really only meant for a weekend, maybe a week at most, not six months, a year. Looks like we're gonna be in here for about that long. We've been already six months in this camper. But yeah, I'm making a little bit of breakfast. Got some eggs. We're gonna have a lot of eggs. Yo, if you want some eggs, your homeboy Omar, gonna have a lot of egg. I mean, like, this is just a little bit right here. And this didn't come from me. Let me know here in the comments where you think these wild, I mean, they're not wild. They're just, you know, they're, they're wild eggs. Eggs from another chicken farm. Somebody you know. Let me know who you think it is. Yes, somebody in Florida, for sure. But yeah, these didn't come from my chickens. Maybe wondering, how long does it take from the point of, you know, when you get a baby chicken to when they start laying eggs? It could be anywhere from six months to eight months to a year. I've waited almost a year and then I've had chickens lay them like, you know, six, seven months from the time that I got them as little baby chicks. If that's true, then these guys are gonna start laying eggs in the summertime, you know, July maybe. Yeah, I don't think so, it's fine, I, I don't care. Like, if they lay eggs, it's great. I mean, but there's gonna come a time where I'm gonna have like 20 something eggs a day and that's not even counting my ducks. Cause ducks are great laying eggers. Eggers? They're just, they're great layers too, like, Sometimes they lay two eggs in a day. And I mean, some chickens don't lay eggs every single day, especially like in the colder months. They slow down a little bit. You might get one or two a week. I mean, and of course, when they get a little older, they stop laying eggs altogether. But I mean, hey, if they can lay eggs for a couple years for us, that's gonna be great. But I don't know what I'm gonna do with 20 something eggs a day, maybe almost 30 eggs a day. That's gonna be crazy. Cause uh, I mean, I plan to keep some of their babies if they have babies gonna maybe incubate some of the eggs. I mean, we're gonna have a lot of different wild hybrid chickens running around here, but yeah, this is my camper. It's uh, it's really cute, it's really dirty. It's, I mean, it's not that dirty. It's just, you know, there's stuff everywhere. You know, there's like a pillow and blanket over there. There's laundry, it's my backpack, and I don't know what that is over there. And I definitely don't know what that is over there. Hey Luna, you gonna lay some eggs for me? All right, I did leave and I came back. I went to go see my mom, hang out with her for a little bit. We ate some corn together, talked. It was, it, yeah, we had some corn. I have some garlic bread too. We made some like street corn. <sighs> but anyways, so Tiffany calls me while I'm eating this corn and she's like, it's crazy. Boston's eating corn pops, like the cereal. You know what corn pops are, right? So Boston starts choking on these corn pops. And then he was like, like, ow, ow. And she goes to investigate and he starts spitting up wood. There was pieces of freaking wood and his corn pops. Look at this. It almost looks, looks like it could be cardboard too. Or no, nah, that's wood. So this is what corn pops looks like. I think it's by Kellogg's. Yeah. Did you open them up? This Like, are they inside of the corn pops? I don't know. I wasn't gonna go through all of them. Hmm. But that was, I mean, he ate half this bowl. And then he's like, oh, mom, come yeah. here. Like, look at this, this is hard. Yeah. Let me know here in the comments if you've ever been chewing or, or, or eating something and there was a foreign object in your food. I think we can all maybe say that we've eaten some hair before. I mean, I used to be a hairdresser, so that it didn't really, I mean, unless it's like a, a chunk of like wig hair or something like that. I think that happened to my uncle. He was eating the cheeseburger from Wendy's and there was like a hair extension track inside of his burger. He was pretty pissed. I think he even went in and like yelled. I, I'd like to know, I'm really curious. Have, have you ever gotten wood in your corn pops or any kind of cereal. So I was talking to Ariana, uh -huh. I showed it to her, and she said that the other night she was at Cam's and they were eating like these like healthy crackers and she bit into something and she was, thought she broke her tooth. And there was like, a piece of plastic. Plastic? Like a full on piece of plastic in her healthy crackers. Hmm. I mean, you know, there's a lot of factories and stuff putting this food, I mean, it, some stuff might slip through the cracks. His favorite cereal, believe it or not, is Honey Nut Cheerios, right? Mm -hmm. So- I love Honey Nut Cheerios. Yeah, he used to love what was it called? Lucky Charms. But there's actually paint thinner in Lucky Charms. I don't know if you noticed that. Like, yeah, it's like an actual ingredient for paint thinner. You can look it up. I've eaten so much Lucky Charms, so I'm probably like, yeah, I'm probably so flammable stuff. He's seen this the other day and he was like, Mom, we haven't had pops in so long. Can we get some pops? Are you gonna get pops anymore? <laughs> I 
seriously doubt that your next box of pops is gonna have. I mean, that's. Uh, I'm not getting it again. You should call the cereal company. Mm -hmm. Hey, they, they might give us free pops for life. I don't want free pops. I don't want no more pops. I don't want none of that. You know, my favorite cereal is cookies. Cookie Monster. Yeah. Cookie's so cute. Look, a lot of you've been asking how Cookie's doing. She's a vampire. I yeah. think. What, what do you call her? She's a vampire. She's part of the Volturi. Volturi. Look at her. She's so cute. She's gonna be 17 years old in June. I mean, she's not as lovable as she used to be. Although she wants to bite my fingers with her gums. Oh, I love you, Cookie. Oh, I love you. Oh, that's so nice. Terrarium. Wait, can I shake it? No. I'm, no. Just, I'm just kidding. So I came out this morning and my little little parakeet doesn't look so well. I saw him at the bottom of his enclosure just, yeah, not perched on anything. And he just looks really weak. I have no idea. I brought him out here immediately for some fresh air. Um, I don't know if maybe the like the ducks because they're they're kind of messy and dirty maybe he's smelling something that's i mean these little birds are so sensitive no i don't maybe he got into something because he was loose in the little birdhouse for a while and just doing things in there eating stuff off the floor and i mean i don't know if maybe the chicken feed he was eating or the chick feed he was eating off the floor but i mean he just looks really really lethargic so i don't know i'm gonna keep an eye on him and just kind of keep him close to me it's okay buddy it's okay i would hate for something to happen to him it's like he flew all this way to come here to the safe haven ranch and like i i would feel like a complete failure if something happened to this little guy oh please don't die on me he does not look good i mean he's just like sleeping in my hands right now oh, i'm gonna bring him probably inside the camper all right he was at the bottom of the enclosure right there I did put some fresh water for him but uh, Come on, little guy, you can't die on me, please. You and little V are gonna be best buddies. Oh my God, no. <laughs> Why? Did you just come here to the safe haven to die? No. I feel like he legit took his, maybe his last breaths in my hands a few moments ago. I read something online that, you know, if your bird is showing signs like that, bring them outside, let them get some vitamin D and that's, time you lose an animal it's hard but like, I was so excited about finding him or him finding us him living a life here with little V but maybe he was already sick poor baby I'm sorry god I'm so heartbroken right now oh yeah it's hard losing an animal I remember losing a pet parakeet when I was a kid it was like it was so heartbreaking his name was Lolo I know he just wasn't doing well. It was kind of the same thing, kind of lethargic. And all well, these birds are so sensitive when when they get sick. I mean, I, don't know, I wish I would have been able to come out here sooner to him and do whatever I could to keep him alive. But he was like, I, I just, I don't understand it. He was fine yesterday. Rest in peace, little one.